Charles Barkley on uh, NBA on TNT on Inside the NBA Post Game Show says that NBA NFL players should get COVID vaccine, COVID nineteen vaccine first because they pay more taxes. Barkley said, I think they should let NBA players and coaches all get the vaccine. It's just my personal opinion. We need 300 million shots. Give some thousand to NBA players, NFL players, hockey players. As much taxes as these players pay. Let me repeat that. As much taxes as these players play, pay your players pay. I can't talk today. You sound they like deserve, Charles. You're doing great, actually. I do sound like Charles, right? Uh, uh, they deserve some preferential treatment. I hate this shit. You know that. You know how I, I feel about I, the I know how you feel about it. Sports and COVID and just playing on as the rest of the world is dying. Um, I, I think he's wrong, and I think Charles is always off the off base when it comes to a lot of social issues these days. Like I just feel like he's not connected to what's happening in reality. I feel like when Charles speaks, he has one good, like maybe idea or concept, but it is clouded by like a hundred other pieces of bullshit. Like, because do I think the players should be vaccinated? I do. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to be vaccinated at some point in time in the next two to three years. So I'm not going to sit here and be like, no, they shouldn't. I think the players should be vaccinated. Is it because they pay more taxes? No. That's where you lost me, Charles. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, it's just like his reasoning for some of these thoughts are just like, oh, I, I don't agree. So I don't agree with it because of the basis that they pay more taxes. I just believe that right now, um, because they are <laughs> essential entertainers and they're and they're playing sports, they for, it's not even for us for their own health. If they want to continue, forget us. If these players want to continue playing and, and going to work, right? This is work for them, not leisure. They should be vaccinated. It's for the health and safety of them and their teammates and their families, ultimately. So that's my only position on that. I, I mean, you know how I feel. I feel, I feel like everybody <clears throat> should be vaccinated. Everybody should get the vaccine. Um, there is a, a rollout and a process that is going a lot slower, I guess, than officials expected when it, came, when it comes to rolling out the vaccine to, you know, first responders who should get it first and then the elderly and then people with underlying conditions. It should be a process, right? There should be like a ladder levels of who gets the vaccine first before you know the supply becomes scarce uh charles they gotta, Barkley, have, they gotta have some they gotta have jugs on that we, we don't know though need to have some jugs we don't we don't know the we don't know the quantity we don't know the um i guess the the expeditiousness mm -hmm. shout out to ti of <laughs> the um <laughs> of the vaccinations and how quickly it should be happening you know, and I I understand where Charles is coming from to a certain extent. There are a lot of games that are being postponed. A lot of players are missing games. Uh, you know, COVID could have an impact on who wins the championship this year, simply because they're not in a bubble and they are free to be outside and more open to infection than they were in the bubble. So, do you think you know, we go playoffs in the bubble? I think we should go to the. I think they should shut it down right now and set up another bubble. Set up two bubbles. Set up one on the east, one on the west. And just work it like that. And then the only time that East and then do it like baseball, baseball like season series. Like if you if the Knicks got two games against the Lakers, just send them to LA that one time, play those two games, and right back to the East Coast. And this and like in the same thing for any other team and any other any other conference. I think it was really smart for Adam Silver to create the bubble that he did last season. But like the like it's it's not getting better. Like the numbers are just getting worse every single day. And it's like we just have this tunnel vision. We just want to play these games. Let's play these games. Like they got fans in NFL stadiums for these playoff games. Let's play these games. Like it's worse than it was before when you shut it down. But now we still got to play these games. I I don't understand it. I really don't. I'm gonna watch any sport that's on television. You know that. I love NFL. I love basketball. I love playoff baseball. But I'm okay if it's not off. When it was off, I didn't die. It's a fact. I mean, I came close, but I didn't die. <laughs> Please, I need the sports. Please, I need my NBA. But I, I, I just, I just feel it's really arrogant. I feel it's really um, dense and and just like just this ignoring all the things that have happened. And like Carl Anthony Towns has COVID now, and he lost a bunch of family members to that shit. And then you got George Hill talking about I don't want to go by the protocols and then stay home. 
Well, George Hill's a different type of nigga. We knew that though. If you follow him on Instagram, you'll see that he's a different. He'd be hunting. He'd be <laughs> killing. He'd be killing like boars. Like he'd be hunting boars. Good for him. Yeah, he just he's just he's just from that. He's from the mid like Midwest. He likes that. He'll never go hungry. Never. <laughs> never. Listen, man. I can't call it. You know what I'm saying? But I think they need to do something. For sure. I think a bubble is necessary. I think that's I think that's what's needed. I think that's what's gonna keep everybody safe and everybody healthy. Well, you heard King and LeBron. King LeBron didn't like the bubble not one bit. <laughs> of course they don't, because they're they're not around their families. And it would be an extended bubble. It wouldn't be like a few months. It wouldn't be like a few weeks. It would be months. It would be like where a they year. wouldn't see their families. Yeah. But That'd I mean, what do you but... like regular the thing is like regular people are dealing with this. So I don't think anybody should be exempt from any type of conditions that we have to adjust to keep people healthy when people are dying at alarming rates every fucking day. Like, how how selfish can you be? Well, the players are now on strict... Um, they basically, right now, they're not allowed to be out on the road or out at home. They're mm-hmm. not... That's, 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 that's what the rule. So, like, they're pretty much on lockdown as it is. Right but now. how long can that can that last, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, George Hill doesn't want to do it. We know James Harden didn't do it earlier before the season started. We know Kyrie didn't do it. Like, how many other players are, are you know, bucking the system and, and making it seem like, you know, their priorities or what they want to do outweighs the public safety? It's, this, it's, this is just what, what comes with the COVID. Yeah. You know and, and just to get back to on topic to Charles, like, I, I just think he needs to reality check. He needs to understand that there are people in this planet that aren't as privileged as him i know he hasn't been poor in a very long time um but it, he sounds stupid saying some of the shit he says and then Shaq didn't even say anything when they were talking about it ernie and ej uh kind of shut charles barkley down but I, I i i'm i'm not okay with him saying shit like that i'm not okay with him feeling that way and it kind of you know lends a a, a very like sick view into his mind about what he thinks about people that are you know, not as rich as him. Yeah, Charles is Charles only. Uh, Charles comes off really just not good. No, no. It's you know that whole like <clears throat> stick to sports thing where they tell athletes to stick to sports. Charles Barkley's the only person that should only stick to sports. I only want to hear what he has to say about basketball. Nothing else. Don't tell me about the sometimes, weather. Sometimes. Don't. Yeah. Some even even sometimes on that. Right. No. Yeah. Crazy. I think his like his act is wearing thin. He was cool early on, and now I can also. I like, yeah, that's, that's what I feel. Yeah, he's reaching. He's reaching. Yeah, big reach. Nasty. 